Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another formation breakdown. This time I'm going into the legendary playbook, Tom Landry of the Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to be breaking down a single back tight end flipped and a, and a shotgun formation next. Uh, with the single back uh, tight end, what I like about this particular play, uh, this particular formation is uh, the audibles. All right, so the audibles are going to be, I've got sla uh, slant, slot, uh, slot, flat, uh, which has got a nice little combination uh, with the slants. I've also got the smash post route, which is kind of a neat uh, combination where I've got an angle route. And then the play action dive has got a unique complementary uh, corner route with the split end, which is a very unique play that you don't see this in many formations. Uh, now, as far as other plays, I'm going to break down, I'm going to break, out, uh, break down the tight end out. Uh, and uh, another play I'm going to break down for you is going to be the halfback angle. So uh, base run I'm going to use is going to be the counter halfback weak. Uh, this also does come with a draw or an off tackle, but the base uh, audible is the, the halfback dive. So let's go out of the running game for the very beginning. And I'm going to be going against uh, random defenses right here. And as you can see, I've got two blockers, two tight ends on the left-hand side. I've got basically four defenders that get passed. So I'm always going to go with that flip right away to be able to pick up a nice hole and pick up a good easy nine yards right there. Now, most opponents are going to stack the line from one side to the other. So if that comes to the case, I'm going to go ahead uh, and pinch the line and try to find the holes up the middle. As you can see right there, able to go ahead and pick up easy yards against my opponent uh, with the running game. Now, uh, one of the standard audibles is the halfback dive, very easy adjustment. And with the Cowboys' D offensive line, you could pick up five or six yards every time with that. All right, so the base audible, uh, the first one is slants. And once again, I want to go ahead and just do uh, a streak uh, with my tight end. And then I'm going to go ahead and take Williams and put him on a hot routed um, out route. And primarily that's because if I get a man read. So right here, this is man coverage. The uh, slant route is always going to beat man coverage once he gets the break. Now an off coverage uh, uh, on the left hand side over here. Uh, if I got off coverage and, and the defender doesn't fall back, I'm going to go ahead and take that easy out route to pick up an easy good 10 yards with that. And once again with the streak slant route, you're always going to go ahead and find the hole with that slant. And if no one goes into the flat on the right hand side, you can always check down to that and pick up an easy seven or eight yards on that. And you always got the tight end that's streaking up the middle. So you could essentially hit pretty much every area of the field against your opponent with this particular play. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next audible. All right, so the uh, next setup we're going to look at is going to be the smash slot post. Uh, what I like about this play is because I've got a lot of flexibility that I can do with it. Uh, my standard changes or audibles or adjustments I'm going to make is I'm going to go ahead and take Witt and streak him up. And I'm going to take Brian once again and put him on a smoke route I've got off coverage. Uh, if no one comes down to Brian, once again, I'm going to go ahead and take that because it's just a harassment route against my opponent. So uh, another thing too is that if it is man coverage, basically I can hit that deep angle route to pick up an easy 20 yards. And I also have got Witten going up the seam against any kind of zone coverage that I can go ahead and attack him up the middle. And I guess Pretz coverage, Williams gets a neat, unique little re release against his defender, they have to be able to pick up some easy yards. You can almost force the ball in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next play. All right, so the last audible that we're going to look at is going to be the play action uh, dive. And what's unique about this play is that corner out by Bryant. Most wide receivers don't have a corner out. They basically have outs or comeback routes, but they don't actually go up on a corner. Uh, usually corner routes are safe for inside positions. So that's somewhat of a unique place because he gets a little bit more depth on his outbreak. And he generally will blow up uh, the man, uh, the zone uh, above him. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and try to focus on... Um, the right side of this play so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, Williams and put him on a drag route so I have a check down. I'm going to cancel the play and actually go ahead and just try to hit uh, Bryant on the outtake as quickly as possible. You can see he gets 11, 11 yards on that. And it's just it's essentially just blows up the coverage. The, the defender doesn't do anything. 
Now, uh, since I've got a, a layer uh, under other man coverage, I've got uh, the check down with Williams coming over the middle, so I can do that. And then I've got the tight end going over the middle that I can actually go ahead and hit for a fairly big yard. So that's the, the last of the play action. I don't really love this play, but this has just got the unique route that might be able to catch my opponent off guard if I'm able to go ahead and hit it right uh, because the defender just plays stupid with that angle. Now one of the base um, plays uh, that I would use for passing plays would be the tight end outs. Uh, primarily because I've got uh, an angle route with the running back. You can't audible into that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, in this type of situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my tight end and put him in a flat. Uh, that gives me easy read. Uh, if uh, if there's anybody in the if anybody comes out to the flat, then basically I'm going to go ahead and check away from it. But if a defender if a defender follows, that means I'm usually going to be able to get the running back on the angle route or Hannah on the on the hitch route. So with that said, I've got the angle route with the the running back just overthrow the ball. And no one comes out in the flat. I'm always going to go and check down the flat and pick up an easy five yards. And gets man coverage that that hitch route uh, by hand is going to pick up good yards. And then you have the angle route with a nice little angle with the, the running back against uh, zone coverages. So if you see the zones fall back. So this is nice because you just have another you have a, a nice play with the running back to be able to pick up some pretty easy easy yards, forcing your opponent to adjust to it. And the final play we're going to break down is going to be the tight end angle. Uh, the reason why I like the tight end angle is primarily because I've got a stock out route that I know I'm always going to get 10 yards on. Uh, what I do is I like to go ahead and take Bryant and put him on a, uh, another one of those smoke routes. I'm going to go ahead and take Han and streak him up. And basically what that's going to do is going to cause a flat defender some confusion over the right hand side. Now my first read is going to be on the left hand side. I'm going to go ahead and take, if my opponent has a tendency of running a lot of man coverage, or cover three. I'm going to look on the left-hand side and see if that outside linebacker uh, is uh, over by, by Williams falls in coverage. He doesn't, so I'm going to go ahead and take the easy 10, 15 yards with the out. Now, if my phone is start, opponent starts going into uh, some kind of a flat coverage to try to take away that out route with Williams, now I can focus on this other side. And really what it, it what's going to happen is I'm going to have that angle route that's going to develop fairly quickly to be able to go and pick that up. Because you can see a defender actually a defender actually has to come out to Bryant to cover that little smoke route. Uh, and as a result, that angle route should get wide open. And it goes to some kind of a cover two shell. You've always got your streaking wide receiver going right down the middle. You can hit him uh, if he goes into cover two. So this is what I really like uh, about this play is that it's going to essentially force him to play basically all over the different fields. As you can see right here, able to pick up a huge streak right there to pick up 20 yards against that coverage. So uh, I hope you picked up some pretty good tips. I'll be using this in my full game um, Friday with uh, with the Tom Landry playbook. I'll be breaking down a shotgun set, and I'll also be sprinkling in some other sets that I've done with some other legendary playbooks too, just to, to keep things interesting. Once again, I really appreciate your support, and until next time.